been great, man. It, I just got to Mark to share it is to he just drew this for me because I that, it's the character I play on the um, this CW right right, right universe. He drew that for me. I went over there, amazing. It blew right. me away. Cool. And, and and being in Baltimore, have you had a chance to go to some of your various haunts? And, and you know, what has that been well, like? I got my my folks here, okay. which is always a good thing. And I uh, got to see some more of my friends around. Okay. All yeah. right. Cool. 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 So so tell me, man. Um, you know, you've had an opportunity to do a multitude of characters. I know we were commenting on Jonah Hex. I'm gonna get to that in a second. Uh, but there have been other films. I'm gonna take you way back down memory lane and talk about uh, Forsaken. Uh, you're like, oh my gosh, yeah, Forsaken. So um, so with that film, can you tell me? Uh, in doing it, what what it was that drew you, you know, to that that particular uh, film because it provides kind of a unique unique uh, perspective on, on vampirism. So you know when they when I got offered that, it didn't have any fangs in it, so it was a different kind of. It was basically a killer. What it was written as a, a vampire because they had extra. They they lived forever. It right. had mythology behind it. Right. And so the mythology is really what got me. But this guy had to live through all this stuff like Lestat, like Vampire Lestat. And I really loved that character. But we didn't have any fangs. If we would have had fangs, we would have been uh, a whole different... They need fangs to sell the movie. <laughs> That's what the Sony executives told me. We need fangs to sell the movie. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. So, jump ahead, DC Universe, Jonah Hex. Um, and playing a character like that, that that is so iconic. Can, can you talk a bit about you know getting into the head of that character and having already having an established um, you know tapestry of material to pull from, but you know still trying to make it your own. You know, I remember reading him when I was growing up, and he had a lot of things that I, I, I took from my father being a, a cop. Mm -hmm. Uh, being a good man in a bad world, um, in a tough world, and so when I, I brought that mentality to 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 Joan Hex, because he's a he's kind of a bad guy, yeah. but he's really has good the, values. The, the he'll kill yeah. you, but <laughs> right. if you're a good person and you you can't fight for yourself, he'll fight for you, unless you pay him a lot of money and then he'll go after you. There's that. There's that. All right. Now, as you know, uh, with the Arrowverse, there's a huge crossover that's happening. Please tell me that our friend, Mr. Hex, is, is going to be a part of it in some shape or form. Oh, yeah. He's in it. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. I just Excellent. got back from Vancouver. Okay. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Now, with that being said, you know, there... The, there's been, you know, talk of all the various, you know, folks that are involved, whether it's from all the various Supermen, you know, uh, Birds of Prey, all of those various characters. Can, can you talk a bit about that and of how surreal it was to have all of you guys there in like the same space? Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Like you, you know, I, can't, I don't, I, they get so mad at me when I say like the Flash was there or like he was there. Right. Constantine was there. Like, you know, <laughs> with Hex, that's whether we're together in a scene, I don't know, but their trailer, they're out they're there, right there. They're at lunch table. They're, you know, it's awesome. It was a lot of fun. I didn't get to meet Batwoman, though. I'm jealous, man. I'm super jealous. Uh, Not to say I didn't work with Batwoman, but I didn't get to meet the one that, the gotcha. actress. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so you're here in Baltimore. Can you tell me what else is on the itinerary in terms of, you know, other events that you'll have a chance to go to con-wise? Um, is this, you know, marking off the end for your schedule, or is there more, more to come this year? You know, I, they, they got me in, uh, I'm, I live in Nashville now, so I'm going to yeah. be at, I think, Heroes and Villains. Oh, cool, cool, Yeah, cool. I think that's in January. Yeah. And then I go February, I go out to London. Oh, I know. Man, it's cool. man. Man, man, man. All right. There you guys have it. Again, I'm here at 2019 Baltimore Comic Con. I'll see you soon.